guys, welcome to episode two of my new apartment room makeover series. Today we are tackling the kitchen. The kitchen has been a mess since I've moved in and I've been trying to manage, but it's just getting too much where like things aren't where I want them and things are kind of everywhere. Like, I don't know, actually you won't be able to see. Oh, you can see. All of my cups are forced into this one cabinet and they're not organized at all. So I've just been using the same cup every day, which might not seem like that's not a big problem that I'm using the same cups every day. But I have all these cups and they're just not in a functional way. They're not. <laughs> the point is my kitchen is not how I want it to be. So the goal for today and the next coming days is to get my kitchen to a place that I feel really happy about. When I first walked into this kitchen, my first thought was, oh my gosh, the kitchen has so much storage. And as I've been living here, I have completely realized that there is a lot of storage, but it is not usable unless I get a literal ladder because you can't really see on camera, but there's cabinets up here and my hand is like a foot away from being able to even touch it. And let's talk about this. When I toured this place, I thought this was a big storage cabinet, and although it's a big storage cabinet, half of it is taken up by the fan for the oven. So there's a lot of obstacles with this place. There's also only three drawers, and I've really been struggling trying to figure out where I want everything. This is how my kitchen looks right now. Not too bad, but obviously I have some dishes to put away. But as you start coming into all of these cabinets, things are not organized. Things are a complete mess and I don't know what to do about it. These cabinets to the left of my fridge are pretty much my pantry and it's like the only place that I have to store food. And I can't even touch any of those or those up there. Before I start anything serious though, I'm going to put my dishes away and kind of clear off the counter. <laughs> Okay, so as far as how these cabinets are looking, this is my cup cabinet that I was talking about that just has like a bunch of random cups in it. In this cabinet, I have just like a few random things right now and I don't really know what to do with them. This is really the only cabinet that I feel good about right now and it just has my plates and bowls and then I have a box of unopened glasses up there. This corner cabinet has a bunch of random stuff and then this one also isn't bad. It has my spices and some smaller bowls and then my plastic cups and plates. I think I'm looking gonna start with this and try to figure out a way for me to organize my cups in a better fashion and I'm gonna go get my step stool so I can reach this top shelf got her When I first moved in, I wiped out the inside of all the cabinets just because they were a little bit dusty. But since I took everything out, I'm going to quickly do it again because I don't know the next time I'm going to take everything out to wipe off like the cabinets. So current thoughts, I think for the bottom shelf, I'm going to do all of my glass cups that I use on a daily basis. So like my mason jars and my cute little glassware like this. I put water in here, coffee in here, smoothies in here, all that type of stuff. And then I'm going to do my mugs on this shelf plus maybe a few other of like my glassware if I need more space. And then and on the top shelf, I'm gonna do all of my like alcoholic glasses. <laughs> like my wine glasses. I have one margarita glass that I um, may or may not have allegedly taken from a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> and then I have like cute shot glasses and champagne flutes. Not that I use them for any other purposes than drinking water. Actually, I'm gonna quickly open the glasses that are in boxes still that I got for the apartment that I haven't opened. <laughs> oh, up here. boxes of glasses that I just took out were all gifts from my best friend Ryan. So these are from Anthropology. I really do not want to drop these, but it's just a cute little set of four glasses. There's like shamrocks on one, there's evil eye, there's rainbow, and there's hearts. These are looking a little bit dusty because they've just been sitting in this box for months. Okay, these ones are also from Anthropology, and I believe these are margarita type glasses. These are the margarita glasses she got me. They're this super pretty iridescent like rainbow. There's four of these. And what's really cool if you guys watched the video where I started thrifting for apartment decor, I found these champagne flutes and they literally match the glasses perfect. And I also have shot glasses that she got me that match this. So I kind of have like a whole little set. It's awesome. It comes with glass straws and the glasses look like this. They are so freaking cute. They're just like ribbed glassware with wooden lids and then you can put a straw on it. Obviously it's what the straws are for. I just 
don't really love that. Like it's still too cluttered. I might get one of those. I don't know on my counter where I would fit it, but if you guys have seen those like mug stands, that would be kind of cute to put my mugs on and then I would have more room for cups and it wouldn't look as cluttered in here. I also don't really have that much space on my counter though. And I already have like my toaster out, my knives, my like utensils, I have my coffee machine. So there isn't like a ton of room. So I put the margarita glasses and the things that I just washed up here and they don't fit. Like I, I can't fit everything. I feel like I need this mug shelf to be somewhere else. Like I can't have, <gasps> good idea. Good idea just sprouted. Okay, mugs are coming down. Wine glasses down here. Yes, yes, yes. So here's what it looks like. I have my iridescent glasses up there. I have some wine glasses there. I have my mason jars there. And then I have all of like my cute glassware drinking cups here. All right, good start. So like I showed, the mugs are not going in the cabinet that I just organized because since I don't have a lot of drawers, I had to put my coffee stuff on this shelf. And these shelves are so messy. I want to go to TJ Maxx or Marshall or wait, what's it called? Home Goods. I want to go to Home Goods tonight and look for a bunch of different like baskets for organizing. Like I want to get a bread basket because I just have like all my bread shoved in here. It's just like not organized whatsoever. Just like get bin so it can feel more organized. But yeah, for coffee, I have this like little sliding drawer thing and at my dad's house, it was in a drawer and it just like kept all my coffee organized and then I have all of my tea organized. But I thought it would work if I just put my uh, mugs on top of this thing since there's a lot of extra space. I just don't know what to do. Like it kind of looks stupid, but it also kind of makes sense. I have some like plastic bowls in here. I could put these at the top. These are plastic cups that were in the other cabinet and I don't really uh, want them in there. So I'm gonna put them up here by the other plastic stuff. I feel like I low-key should just go to the store and get a bunch of organizational things so that this can be easier and I can just actually start putting stuff into the baskets and like putting them in the cabinets that I want. Like I mentioned, there's only three drawers in here and here I put my silverware and it actually does look pretty organized and pretty good. And here I have like other cooking utensils. This is like a little thing that you like set out and like put your spatulas and stuff on while you're cooking. And then I just have different tools, cheese grater. I don't know, I was able to use these like like little um, plastic or acrylic containers to kind of organize in here. This drawer is a mess um, because I don't have enough space. I need something to organize like my aluminum foil and my parchment paper and my like Ziploc baggies and stuff, but I also need some place to organize my hand towels and my dish towels. I actually already started making a shopping list for the different organizational things I want for the kitchen and I'll go ahead and read that off for you. So I said I wanted to get a bread basket, I want a snack basket, a chip basket, a fruit basket or like a fruit container for inside the fridge like I always get oranges and apples and they're just currently like sitting in their bags in the fridge and it just doesn't look nice so I want to get kind of like a big acrylic container not a big one maybe two medium-sized ones for my oranges and my apples and then another acrylic thing for my go-go squeezes because they're just in the cardboard box I'll show you guys the fridge it's not the most terrible thing ever but it's definitely not organized at all clearly I have a lot to do with this and I just feel like getting little storage containers will help me be able to like organize it all better oh yeah baby Cute. It's comfy. That's cute. I might have to come back to it. This little like bench thing that would be awesome for at the end of my bed. That would look so good. 179. That's so cute. I love this. They have all these books. I just ordered the Dior one. Literally before I came, I placed an Amazon order because I have some stuff for the kitchen that I want to get. And I just ordered the Dior one and I have all of these here. Guys, I forgot to record what I'm finding so much. I just want these like drawer things that go in the fridge. I should not have wandered into the Marshalls area. I've been here for like so long. I don't actually know how long, but it's been too long. Finally left. I think I spent like 241 was my total, which is not amazing, but I just, I don't know what happened in there. I, there's no boundaries when you walk into a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. Like there's literally like, I low-key have to go to my dad's in a little bit. I think I'm going to sleep in my dad's house tonight because I have to bring my brother and Noah to the airport at like 6 a.m. And if you know me, I'm not a morning person and I'd rather just like sleep there to be able to wake up versus like sleep in my apartment, drive 15 minutes to get no and then you know so yeah I'll talk to you when I talk to you and I would say overall this was very successful probably too successful <laughs> okay guys I'm back home now I'm gonna do a quick haul and show you guys 
what I all got and then I'm going to go over to my dad's house and edit for the rest of the night The first thing I got is this little brownie pan thing It's like light green and like blue in the inside I need to steal some more of my dad's like pans like cooking pans because he doesn't really do any like cooking or baking in these pans And I know that there's a lot at his house that I'll be able to take but he doesn't have one this size and what I always hate what I always hated in the past making brownies at his house is we always had like the bigger pans and then the brownies would be too thin and I like my brownies thick so I just got like a smaller pan for like making brownies I love brownies and then I got this three pack of these like wicker they're like plastic but like wickered pattern baskets they have lids not sure if I'm gonna use them I'm gonna use one for chips and then one for like other snacky items and then one for my bread next is a pair of shoes I'll save those for the end I got this two set of round glass canisters um, with little like wood lids they're kind of like light pink glass and I thought that this would be good to put my nuts in and then I got these two plastic little bins they're the same thing and you can stack them but I have a feeling that I'm gonna put them side by side I'm not sure like how they're gonna fit in there and whatnot I've been looking for a salad spinner and this one is like smaller than all the ones that I've seen and I never make like a bunch of salad at once or if I'm washing fruit in one of these like I don't have like a ton so I thought that the smaller one would be good because it saves space and the blue is super cute and it was only seven bucks and then I went a little overboard on these books y'all I literally like I was saying I just ordered the Dior one on Amazon found another Dior one but it's purple I already have a bunch of books in here but they aren't giving what I want them to give and I thought that these were so cute like this matches my living room perfectly these everything is just so cute I know that this is all not kitchen stuff including this perfume I don't know okay so you know like the Bucharat, Bucharat, I don't know, I keep seeing it on TikTok. It's like this super expensive perfume. It's like a $500 perfume. And this is called Bogart Rouge 560. So I think it's like a dupe. And it smells exactly, maybe not exactly, but it smells super similar to my YSL Black Opium perfume, which I love and I've been out of for a while. Perfumes are just so expensive and I can't get myself to spend like $200 on a perfume. Oh, but this one smells so good. It was 20 bucks. It's a pretty good size, I feel like. I don't know what it is. Let me know if anybody has ever seen this or tried it. But it literally gives the same vibes that my Black Opium did. But but, okay, thanks. The next thing I got was another clearance item. It's on clearance for 12. It was originally 34. And it's colorful Jenga. But it was on clearance because it's missing a block. But I figured, you know, you can still play. Like, you don't play with the top ones anyway. So it's fine if one's missing. And also, can we talk about, like, the color match of everything? Like, come on. Okay, next thing is this cookie sheet. I already have two silver cookie sheets. But I need a drying, or not a drying rack, a cooling rack. And I absolutely love the color of this one. I just had to get it. I showed you these, but they are just like pull out upside down pull out drawers and I thought that these would be perfect for like my apples and my oranges maybe and finally I had to get some clothing oh I have to show you my shoes too got these little sweat shorts there's a blue pair and a light gray pair they remind me of my addicted one no not addicted a red seal ones and then I got a PJ set these are the bottoms they're just like super that like super soft PJ material and here's the top it's just very basic but cute I love PJ sets I have been wanting these shoes for probably two years I have these in black and white but I have loved the green ones for as long as I have known that they exist $40 $40 come on guys I have these in black and white like I said they were my comfiest most worn shoe I destroyed them though so now I kind of wear them like out when I go visit my friends at college and stuff but I'm so excited to have the green ones they're so cute that's it for my haul 300 bucks down the drain but not actually I literally am obsessed with everything I got I can't believe honestly that this was I feel like that's very reasonable for all the stuff that I got. Maybe I'm being delusional. Hi guys, it's the next morning. It's bright and early. Well, it's 9.12 right now. Well, I guess it's not super early, but I have been up since 5.45. Like I said, I slept at my dad's house last night so that I could bring my brother to the airport this morning. So I woke up, got out of bed at like 5.50, went straight downstairs, headed to the airport, stopped at Chick-fil-A on my way home because I'm never up early enough for Chick-fil-A breakfast. But anyways, came back here, I showered, did my makeup, got dressed, got ready for the day. And now I just went through all of the stuff that I got yesterday. I washed. It. I like scraped all the stickers off if you guys know anything if you've ever been to TJ Maxx or Marshall's or home goods or whatever And you've bought something and then you've tried to take the sticker off what you bought It is the most challenging thing in the entire world They make it so the stickers do not peel off in one thing like there it's impossible to peel it off So this was like a whole process This probably took me like 40 minutes to get all the stickers off So first off I for sure want like I said a bread basket I just have my bread and pasta down here for now 
I forgot I had bagels. Yay, bread basket. <laughs> Okay, now these two have like snacky things and I'm gonna try to fit all of this into one basket minus the chip bags, but I don't know. Shoot, I think I want more baskets. <laughs> protein bars I have my regular like nature valley granola bars I have my little slim jims because I am so obsessed with them for no reason and then I have all my fruit snacks there were some extra alami bars that didn't fit so I'm going to just put these in like the back of the shelf and what I'm also gonna put back there is my little candy basket which now that I'm seeing it it's a little uh, small I'm going to put my nuts in my little pink jars Okay guys, my nuts are in my jar. I decided to just mix the two because I didn't have a lot of each and I just figured this was fine. Things are actually looking pretty good and I wish that I had um, at least two, three more bins. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back and get another three pack of these white bins just so that this can feel a little bit more organized. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. It's 12.38 right now and I have a doctor's appointment at two, but before I go to my doctor's appointment, I wanna stop at that other home goods to get um, more baskets. Hi guys, I'm finally home. Small home goods haul. I ended up getting another clear plastic container to put next to the two that are already in there. They're not the exact same because I wasn't gonna be able to fit the same size. Like I wouldn't be able to fit three of them, but this one's a little bit more narrow and it actually, it fits perfect. I already like tested it just to make sure that it fit before I like took the sticker off and stuff. And then as far as white baskets go, I found the same ones, except they're not the same ones. They are a little bit deeper and I was really worried that they weren't gonna fit in my cabinets, but I think that they do. So yeah, these ones are just a little deeper set, so I might do some rearranging of what I already have in the other baskets, but I'm super happy that I found them. They were literally, this like was the last pack of white ones, so it was meant to be. I figured it would be good to put like my, this is like random stuff, but I have like salsa, I have my strawberry preserves, whatever like I don't have a spot for will kind of just go in this middle section. Oh shoot, I forgot to put my ice cream in here. So yeah, here is how things are looking. I think they look a lot better. I still need to organize like this drawer and also this drawer, but I'm not gonna tackle that right now. It's been a few days since I talked to you last and was making progress on the kitchen I had to wait for an Amazon order to arrive I ordered a few things for the kitchen and also some things for my room and stuff But then I also had to wait until I had the energy and the time to go over to my dad's house Not only to pick up the Amazon order because for some reason I had it delivered to his house But I wanted to grab a bunch of my Alani and poppy drinks that were over there Alani absolutely spoils me like I don't think I've ever gotten so much PR from a single brand not complaining I love Alani energy drinks I love actually all of Alani's products, but um, there was just a ton at my dad's and I left some for my brother because he drinks them too. I probably brought less than half of them over, but I just want to be able to put them in my fridge and have a few more drink options here. So we've got some Alani's here and then this entire backpack is full of loose cans of Alani and also Poppy, like the health soda. But as far as my Amazon haul, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I ordered. I got some dried eucalyptus to hang in my shower 
I'm not gonna take it out because I don't want to deal with that right now. Um, I got some little like sticky pads to go underneath the rug in my bathroom so it doesn't slide. I saw these on TikTok and I ordered them. They're the IQ Biology Hair, Skin, and Nails Vitamin Complex. They have collagen, vitamin C, A, D, E, and B12, and then they have magnesium and astragal or something. I have pretty healthy hair, skin, and nails, but I feel like I don't take any supplements. Like I take a one a day for like all of like my body's nutrients that it needs, but I wanted to start taking something like this that targets more of like the beauty side of things. And then I got these pink fake flowers for probably my room at some point whenever I get around to that video. This is so freaking cute. So apparently this is a thing in France and maybe other European countries, I'm not entirely sure. But like most things I see and find out for myself, um, I found this on TikTok. It's called a butter bell. I need to move closer. It's just like a white ceramic container. It says butter and then it has these cute little strawberries all over it. I just felt like this fits the vibe so perfectly. So this part lifts up and you put the butter in here. You like put, put, thank you so much. You pack this part full with butter and then you put a tiny bit of water at the bottom of this. Apparently when you put the butter in like this, um, the water creates like an airtight seal or something. The final thing is a vase. Oh my gosh. This is ginormous. It's just this cool glass ribbed vase and um, I don't know. I just thought it looked really cool. All right, there's my little haul. I have to pick my brother up from the airport in, oh gosh, he just landed. All right, he was supposed to land in 45 minutes. All right, I was gonna say, let me put all my drinks into the fridge, but I feel like I need to leave because I need to go pick him up. So I guess I'll see you guys in a couple hours. I'll put my drinks in the fridge and do anything else that I feel like doing today. It's been a few hours. I actually hung out at my dad's house for a little bit just because I haven't seen him in a few days and I felt like I should chill there for a bit, but now we're back and I'm going to put these drinks in my fridge. This is one of my favorite flavors. It's the Juicy Peach. It is so freaking good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's get these in the fridge. Hi guys, it's the next day. Sorry if it's a little bit dark in here despite it being 2 p.m. when I'm recording this. It's actually not dark. I just wanted to tell you that I'm living through the eclipse. <laughs> I don't live in like the line of totality or whatever it's called, but I did take some pictures of it and it looks sick. It's not picking up on my camera on my phone. I'll put them on the screen. It actually looks so cool. I definitely looked at it though and I don't think you're supposed to do that. I just got back from the grocery store. I wanted to get some berries because I haven't had any berries. I've had other fruit in my fridge. Got my apples in my oranges but I've been craving berries and there's a national strawberry shortage right now so I wanted to get some raspberries and some blueberries and I also picked up some flowers the selection was very very sparse but at the grocery store that I go to they have like a build your own bouquet section and you can pick like different flowers and filler flowers and there was literally not any options so I just had to go with these so I'm gonna go ahead and trim these put them in the vase and then clean up a little bit and then I honestly think it's ready for the reveal I've done a little bit off camera that you guys haven't seen just because I feel like these videos that I'm making these like makeover videos are so freaking long So I figured I could do a little bit off camera, but yeah, it's coming together Okay I just went through and did some last-minute cleaning and organizational things in some of the drawers and cabinets And I feel like my kitchen is in a place that I'm happy with and I think I'm ready to show you everything So here is an overview of my kitchen I'm standing in my living room right now and then my kitchen is just right here. I haven't talked about my bar stools yet These are actually actually from Amazon and they were super super inexpensive compared to like all the other bar stools I was looking at. I actually made a list on my Amazon storefront of everything that I've purchased from Amazon for the apartment. So if you guys want to take a look at that, it's in the description. But yeah, I love the stools. Here is kind of an overview of the counter. Here is my little soap. I haven't talked about this either. I guess I'll tell you guys where everything is from. Well, not like everything, but the cute things that you might be wondering about. This soap dispenser is from Amazon and the soap inside of it is also from Amazon. And then moving over, we have my beautiful flowers. It actually turned out to be such a cute little bouquet. I love it. You guys saw me do the unboxing of the vase. It's from Amazon. And then this little candle here is actually from Kohl's, I believe. It's super cute. It's just this ribbed pink candle. Moving over, I have my Keurig and I have my little frother thing kind of hidden back there. Here are all of my cooking utensils. This is actually a plant potter that I found at Walmart for super cheap. And then all of the utensils for the most part are from Amazon. On my stove top, I have my olive oil container which I actually haven't put olive oil in yet but I got this at World Market and I got it because my mom got me these little salt and pepper shakers as a housewarming gift and 
and these are from Kohl's and I felt like they just matched this super well. So when I saw this oil thing, I got it. Moving over more, we have my knife set, which is also from Amazon, but that's the brand. And then I also have my little butter bell that looks so freaking cute. My microwave, this came with the apartment. And then I have my cute little like toaster over here. <laughs> if you're wondering about my kitchen mat, I think my mom got it from Kohl's. I have this pink hand towel hanging right now and this is from TJ Maxx, I believe. As far as all of the cabinets and drawers, I'm gonna start from this way and work this way. So I haven't showed you guys under the sink. I didn't do much with this in this video because I already had it pretty organized, but it's just standard under the sink organizational things. I have like some cleaning products, paper towel. I have this whole thing with cleaning products, dishes, drying mat, and then I have some vases back there. Nice. In this little cabinet, I have cutting boards. I have like cooking trays, baking trays. Here is my silverware drawer. The organizer is from Amazon. My silverware is from Amazon. These chopsticks are from TikTok shop actually. And then I have different reusable straws and stuff. There's some back there. I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is my garbage and recycling. She is very full right now. The first cabinet up here is my cup cabinet. This actually turned out looking so good. I kind of explained what everything is and like how I organized it. So I'm just going to show you. I don't know. I think it looks cute. Now this is the tricky cabinet. This is the one that bamboozled me because this big ass fan is here. This is not very organized, but I really don't know how else to use this cabinet or what to put in it. So I just have like my aluminum foil part parchment paper and then I have my Ziploc baggies and this is kind of like my junk drawer. I didn't show or talk about this but I guess it's just like standard junk drawer things like scissors, there's gum, there's like little bread tie things. This is a standard for um, a junk drawer. <laughs> Pens and markers. And then I have like a notepad up there. I feel like this will definitely accumulate more stuff as time goes on. But for now, this is just, it's gonna go there. This cabinet, I really didn't do much with. My plates and bowl set is from Amazon. Again, linked to my Amazon storefront. And then I have some more bowls up there. This corner cabinet has a lot more space that I'll be able to utilize as I just get more stuff. I have paper plates, I have my mixing bowls, I have my salad spinner. And then I think I'm gonna use this shelf for like my cute trays and bowls that don't really like fit in any of the other cabinets. And then this cabinet, I didn't do anything different with this except I added a few cups up there. Plastic plates and cups, my mini bowls, and then down here is all of my spices and like honey and stuff. Up here I didn't really show. I kind of just have like random shit. Here I have my blender, my air fryer, and then I have like extra Tupperware, like plastic containers. As far as my fridge goes, y'all know I tried to organize this to the best of my ability, despite it being kind, it's not a small fridge. I just feel like it's very narrow. I don't know if that's true, but I just, I don't know. So here she is. This shelf is super random. I have like yogurt and cottage cheese, but then I also have like cooking stuff. I have sauces and condiments. I have like drink stuff, some sodas. I have protein shakes and waters down here. Then I have more poppy and all of my alani new energy drinks oranges and apples go-go squeezes and here i have the berries that i just bought and then there's salsa and strawberry preserves back there and then in here is butter and cream cheese i have some leftovers here and my eggs here's my cheese and like sandwich meat drawer <laughs> this might be the most random shelf ever i need to cut this pineapple before it goes bad i have an extra milk and then these are oranges from breakfast that i didn't feel like finishing and i just was like okay let me save them this is kind of my produce drawer and and it's honestly very empty right now because I just finished a bunch of it. I have like peppers, tomato, lettuce, cucumber. And then down here, I always put, well, so far. I've lived here for almost a month, so I don't know if everything that I'm doing is gonna like continue to happen. But every time I've gotten like meats, whether that's like beef or chicken breast or whatever, I've been putting it in this bottom drawer to kind of just like keep it away from everything else. So yeah, there's the fridge, my freezer. My freezer's kind of boring. Here's what she looks like. There's literally no organizational factors to it, so I feel like I don't need to to explain. I don't know if I talked about this, but I'm literally missing two shelves too, so that does not help. Cabinet time, pantry. Okay, so I showed you a lot of this. I guess I'll take this stuff down and show you once again. In here, I have individual little bags of chips. More snacks and chips and stuff. I have my sweets all the way back here, and then I showed you guys. I don't want to take this down. I just got snacks, okay? Here is all of my coffee and my tea stuff, and then all of my mugs. I don't know if I love my mugs here. I actually kind of hate it, but I don't know what to do with them yet. Here is my bread basket. Just got some different bread stuff. And then down here I have pasta and noodles and rice type of stuff. And then a bunch of random 
down here. I don't know, you can see for yourself. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. My kitchen is done. I mean, in all honesty, it's probably not anywhere near done. But so far, everything that I've kind of thought about and everything that I've found that I think is cute for now is in here and done. Over time, I'll probably end up buying new decor and things to put on the counter and everything like that. But for now, I feel very, very happy about it. And I honestly love it. It's like very minimal and bright, but I love the pops of pink. This has been so much fun. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I guess next Sunday, will you see my living room transformation? Maybe that's, I don't have a lot of time, but I feel like I can manage. I feel like I can get it done. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Bye-bye.